Hello everyone. Um, since there is um, a lot of people who are starting to play StarCraft 2 or do have less than um, a thousand letter games or say less than 500 letter games. So um, for all of you StarCraft 2 beginners, I'm now going to do a video on how to start because the first thing you should do is um, optimize your hotkeys so um, here in the lower right corner is um, the menu where you just press escape or F10 then um, there's you go to options and at first we're going to do um, everything but hotkeys so um, first let's go to mouse and keyboard um, I got the uh, mouse sensitivity enabled and I got it at 70% so uh, you might want to have like something between 50 and 70% so if you played um, Counter-Strike or any uh, first-person shooters you might uh, go higher and if you think you're a bit slower then rather choose 60 or 50% just try it out okay so the next thing uh, is um, the mouse scroll, the, the um, keyboard scroll here. So uh, um, this is when you move your, your, your mouse to the edges of the screen to move the screen. So you should put it on like 50% or 60% or something like that. A little bit slower than the mouse sensitivity um, but still high up because if you have it like before you have like everything at like 20 percent and it takes a long long time to move the screen so um also try out how to yeah if this is okay for you if it's too fast or too slow but um, if you put it at 60 percent that's a huge difference between like 20 percent which was it which it was before and 60 percent Okay, so enable mouse wheel zoom also, uncheck it, and you don't need reduce mouse lag. Um, if you uncheck enable mouse wheel zoom, it means like during a fight you might accidentally use your mouse wheel and zoom in or zoom out, and this is kind of annoying and you don't need it at all in StarCraft 2 in a melee game. It's only good if you are an observer, if you are casting a replay, then you want the mouse wheel zoom enabled to zoom in and like do some funny stuff like at the, at the beginning you um, uh, you represent the players and you can play a little with the camera so or like zoom in on a unit that has a, a lot of kills or something like that okay so you also want to disable the windows key of course Okay, so mainly it's enable mouse sensitivity to 50 to 70%, no mouse wheel zoom, uncheck it, uh, and the scroll speed from 20 to 50 or 60%, everything here. Okay, so next one would be gameplay. Expansion level should be Legacy of the Void because, well, there's not much players playing the other um, add-ons. Uh, first thing on the right, you want the show unit life bars on always. You always want to see how much um, HP, how much health a unit has. Like if there's like two carriers and one has like 10% health and the other has 90%, you all, uh, he wants to focus the 10% carrier with 10% HP first, of course. Um, control groups, uh, unclickable, of course, um, because you don't want to um, drag or put your um, your control groups to whatever to Mexico or whatever, so um, they should stay where they where they are, and no accidental clicking uh, is um, should um, annoy you while you're fighting or something, or should do something that you don't want to. So they will stay there. Everything will. Um, be fine. So 
Uh, show flyer helper, this is very important, should always, uh, should be on always, because if you select or do not select um, a flying unit, you will always see a little um, line going down, straight down, and then a circle. And the place where that circle is, is the position of that um, flying object, like a mutalisk or a, a dropship, war prism or observer or whatever. So if you have um, an overlord, for example, this is uh, in most cases you have an overlord and you want it to be kind of invisible. You don't want any marines to shoot it or any stalkers to shoot it. So you put it on um, a small hill or a plateau or whatever. And every time that circle below that overlord is on that plateau, on that mountain, uh, it cannot be seen from below. Marines cannot see it un unless there is a medivac or a viking or whatever. And also the Protoss units cannot see it, see it unless there is a war prism or a phoenix or a, anything that's flying or a colossus. Um, same thing goes for War Prism or Phoenix or a Medivac. You don't want it to be somewhere where it can be seen by ground units. Okay, so um, show alert. I would uncheck this. It's pretty nice to see things that happen. Like there's a list. If you check it, there's a list of things that happen like whatever um, an upgrade finished or whatever. But mm, it's rather random, because if you play the game, I think you should rather check things. Don't read what happens, but check things that will happen soon. So kind of um, think about the next step and the next step and the step after that and so on. So rather uncheck that, because if you accidentally click on it, it's like you're... you're playing a ZVZ with Ling Bane and you're fighting and well you're in your base like what the fuck why am I in a, why am I in my base and this is because you clicked on an alert and it's really annoying um display build grid this is important for protoss or most important for protoss because you can actually have a little help when you place a building or make your wall versus zerg and also for terran of course um Enable simple command card, you should uncheck this because, um, for example, if you play a card games, uh, arcade games, um, this is really useful if you have unchecked this because else you might not be able to do things. And also in a 1v1, in a multiplayer game, um, you want to see the patrol button or borrow or whatever, not just move and attack or something like that. Okay, so... Next are more or less self-explanatory, so um, you get the experience points, for example, that's kind of important because like if you have a Ravager and you are shooting at a place where a Widow Mine is, like you get to shoot two Biles from two Ravagers um, on a Widow Mine, then you see you destroyed the Widow Mine, you can see the explosion, but you also see the experience points going up, so you know it's it's dead. Um, it helps if you, yeah, if something dies, like if there's like a fungal growth, for example, from infestors, um, it has damage over time. So you will see if stuff dies where you cannot see it, for example, or burn down or whatever. Like if you damaged um, an orbital command and you have some XP going up in the dark, then it's probably that orbital command burned down to the ground, which is pretty nice. So, um, yeah, enemy unit selection is of course very, very useful. You want to check what kind of upgrades um, your opponent is at now and then. So, my roaches have 2-2 two, two, and his roaches have 0-0, zero, zero, so I just steamroll him or uh, your links just died to uh, Marine Marauder Medivac and you wonder why well he has 3-3 three, three and you have no upgrades at all so it's just I don't know it's just uh, jumping on an iced lake and trying to break the ice which is 10 meters thick it's not possible 
So this is very important. Um, okay, so that's that. Next one would be social, also very important. So there's people you can ignore. Um, uh, you have blocked them, you can unblock them later on. Um, so one thing is very impo uh, very useful is show timestamps. So especially if you are in a chat, for example, a clan chat or whatever, um, then you want to see when someone wrote something. So like, uh, like five minutes ago, someone asked about, oh, someone, someone wants to play team games or something, or one minute ago, you can answer that person. But if it's an hour ago, that that person might already be offline or something. So it's pretty useful. Rejoin channels on login um, is pretty useful because you log in and then you're uh, connected to the people you want to talk to. Um, show non-Blizzard channels in game is also important. Like if you are in a clan and you're playing a game, you will be disconnected from the clan chat. So you will miss 90% of the clan chat if you uh, do not check that option. And the rest, well, you don't want to stay in the general chat too long because, yeah, well, it's not too useful most of the time. So, like, 99% of the chat is usually just bullshit. So, um, if there's people annoying you, like, after the game or something, you can always check only allow friends to send me a message or set status to uh, or um, only send uh, only allow friends to send me invites so um, you won't get invites or um, spam from random people also if you're new to the game you might want to check set status to busy when playing a game so there will be no whispers or um, um, chat from the the clan chat um, So you will just uh, you can reread that later after the game because you want to focus on the game more Okay, so language and region well You do understand what I'm saying. So you probably have this one English um, you can um, change the preferred game server here so for me the best one is Eastern United States because I'm from Europe so um, this will help with lag and so on so observe and replay well leave it on default that's all right so after this you want to hit accept so everything is um, saved and we're going to the next one that's menu options and hotkeys so if you are new, I definitely um, um, want you to choose grid, grid layout. This is like um, you're building workers with Q, stop is W, um, hold position is E, control is R, attack is T, which might be a dif little difficult. Um, I will help you with that a little later in the next video. Um, or yeah in the next video and um, burrow is B um, building menu is Y simple buildings and more advanced buildings is X um, C and V is unloading nidus or bunkers or uh, dropships um, yeah A is I don't remember so there's a lot of stuff. Um, of course, these are all the units that you build and the abilities if you click on a unit. You will see that later. But it's very, very, very useful. It's especially useful if you play random um, because everything is the same. Okay, so um, at first you select, go to selected profile and you choose grid. Okay. And then uh, you create a profile, name it whatever, I don't know, new grid profile or new grid hotkeys, create. Okay, so for me, because I have a German keyboard, 
Um, I want to exchange 